Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to the chapter on black and whiting. In this first tutorial, we're going to go over basically uh, kind of some advanced toning features of black and whites in Lightroom. Uh, so let's get right into it. Now, before we start, I do want to make mention of what what am I kind of typically looking for when I want a black and white image. Um, I think there's certain characteristics that make uh, certain images look very good, uh, good as black and white photos. And now every one of these images would really work as a black and white photo and look great. Um, but typically when an image has like an overly complex or very colorful background, uh, it works very well as a black and white as the black and white will kind of pull the emphasis off the background and bring it more towards the subject. Uh, an example of that would be the shop owner sitting outside of the shop. We see a very complex and kind of colorful background which takes a lot of attention away from him. So switching this to black and white by hitting V would work very very well in this kind of an image. Also images that have journalistic value and this does have journalistic value as well. Images that have journalistic value can be timeless, they could be uh, kind of emotional. This is another image that has a lot of journalistic value. Switching that to black and white would work very well. Um, same with this shot of the bride dancing with her father, a very timeless moment. So these are kind of all uh, examples and, and kind of characteristic, characteristics that I'm looking for when I'm thinking of switching an image to black and white. Um, so let's let's work on this first one uh, with this shop owner right here. We're going to go into our develop module and typically the first thing you're going to notice when you switch an image to black and white, which we're going to do right now by hitting V, is that a black and white is going to need additional brightness, blacks and contrast uh, when compared to the color version of that image. For some reason that's just how it works in Lightroom. As soon as you convert it you're going to be adding these three things to kind of make the image look right as a black and white. So let's start with our brightness because it's kind of the biggest adjustment first. We're going to adjust that up to about plus 80. And then the blacks uh, I'm going to leave where they are but I am going to take my contrast up a little bit. So I want a little more contrast and you can afford to have more contrast and black clipping in a black and white image because they're typically more dramatic and they just have more leeway for that. Um, we can also crank our clarity if we wanted to as well to kind of give it a more gritty feeling. Uh, but I like it where it is right now and uh, one thing I do want to adjust is that this left area is still too bright. If you remember when we did the color correction on this image back in the uh, editorial portraits tutorial, uh, that was in the last chapter, we added a gradient, uh, a graduated filter to pull down the brightness of the la left side. Well right now as a black and white it's still too bright. And if I click on my graduated filters you can see here is that filter that we created last time. Um, I'm going to leave that filter just by clicking on it I can make some adjustments to it. So what we want to do now is just click on it and adjust my exposure down further. I want to just kind of darken it up um, to maybe about negative 108, 1 1.08. And then I'm going to pull that in across the image a little more just to kind of darken up that left side. And that's great. I feel like it's it's well balanced now. It looks, uh, the, the tones look about right. And I'm going to brighten it up maybe a tiny bit just for his skin tone. Um, but that's really nice. And if I wanted to also I can kind of pull back my vignette because I have a very strong reverse vignette to kind of brighten the edges in this. So I could bring that back just a little bit um, just to kind of uh, darken up the edges just a little bit more. And that's great. We're going to save this as black and white in my snapshots. Okay, perfect. Now for this next image, I'm going to go to this image of the couple walking down this path. Um, and I'm going to give you guys an example of kind of some advanced black and white toning options that we have in Lightroom. So we're going to flip this to black and white again by hitting V. I'm going to make my basic uh, contrast and black and uh, blacks adjustments just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Maybe a little more brightness. And that's great right there. Now what I can do is just like how we can adjust individual colors on a color image, we can also adjust our black and white mix on a black and white image. Now it's going to be difficult to tell what colors are what since this is in black and white. I don't know what's red or what's orange, what's yellow. So the easiest way to do this is just to click on this adjustment tool and then bring it into your image and select the item that you want to darken or brighten and click on it and pull down. So I'm going to click on these clouds and pull down. And that's going to darken up my blues, which also is affecting the mountains. So I don't want to go too much. About right there is good. Next, I want to kind of darken up the field. And so I'm going to click on this uh, kind of brighter area of the field and darken that up. And then I'm going to click on the darker area of the field. Maybe I want to, let's see, I'm going to darken that up as well. I want it to kind of have just a more dramatic feel in this version of the black and white. So I'm just kind of making everything darker and more dramatic. And that's great. We're going to save this as dramatic black and white. And then I want to create one more just of a standard black and white. So let's go back to our color corrected snapshot. 
and then let's hit V and make those same exact adjustments to the basic tones. Uh, we added a little bit of contrast, we added some blacks, and then a little bit of brightness, I believe, to get it where it was. And we're going to save this just as a standard black and white in our snapshots, just so we can compare the two. So here's the black and white, and here is the dramatic black and white. So you can see how we have just a bit more tonal control uh, over our black and whiting with the black and white mix that we have here in this uh, panel. Now when it switches back to color, you'll notice that we don't have those options anymore because this is the HSL panel, it's the hue saturation luminous panel. If it's in black and white, you're given the uh, black and white mixing. If it's in color, you're given the HSL or color options. So let's leave it as a black and white. Now just as a quick note, you don't have as much tonal control in, in Lightroom over a black and white as you would with like third party software. Um, but there is quite a bit and we can do quite a bit of stuff with that. Be careful with one thing and I can notice right now that if you adjust black and whites too far, you're going to add strange gradation effects which we can see right here. So I notice that this area is, is has gone too far because I can see this kind of weird artifacting uh, over on this clouds where it kind of fringes a little bit. So what I might want to do is just pull up a little bit on the clouds. I think it's the clouds that's doing that. Sorry, click the wrong button. There we go. So I'm just going to pull the clouds back up a little bit and we'll see what color tone it is that's affecting that. I think it's the yellow. Yeah, it's the yellows that are doing that. So if we pull pull down those areas too much, we'll get that kind of uh, effect. So you want to be careful of that. Let's uh, right click on that snapshot. We'll update with the current settings. And that's great. Let's go on to the next tutorial.